once again, I'm going to express every part of my numerator in fraction form, every part of my denominator in fraction form, so you can see where these fractions are located. And now I'm going to combine everything in my numerator so that it's combined into one single fraction. So looking at my first fraction, I need a square root of t squared plus 1. And I need a 1. So here's my LCD. That's all you have to use. Okay, now if we take the numerator of our first fraction and we multiply it by any LCD factors that are missing from this denominator, it's not missing anything. So we just leave it as t squared. You can put a times 1 there if you want. Okay, minus the next fraction's numerator, t squared plus 1. And we're going to multiply this by the LCD factor that's missing from its denominator. Seeing the square root of t squared plus 1. So when you multiply something by itself, you're actually squaring it. And so if you square a square root, you're really just canceling that. So when you multiply these together, it's really going to simplify to just the t squared plus 1 in parentheses. Okay, which means you can now distribute your negative. So you have t squared minus t squared minus 1 all over the denominator stays exactly as it is. The t squareds cancel. And so here's your numerator simplified into a single fraction. Okay, and so what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to invert and multiply by this denominator. So we take the t squared and move it to the bottom. We move the 1 up to the numerator. And we multiply across to get our final answer. Negative 1 across the numerators. The monomial factor first, followed by here this square root. There were no factors that got canceled from the denominator, so you can leave it in this form, no extra restrictions. Okay, now this is the form that I, I think I had maybe said on the instructions for this to leave. You don't need to rationalize your denominator. And so on here, you guys do see the fact that you have this square root. When you're simplifying these complex fractions, don't worry too much about rationalizing unless it specifically tells you uh, to rationalize. You can leave it in this type of form.